Good morning, Haynes Bridge, and welcome to HVTV News. I am Leah. And I'm Elizabeth. Today is Friday, September 6, 2024. If you would like, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Today's thought of the day comes from legendary college basketball coach John Wooden, who said, don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do, emphasizing the importance of, your fo of focusing on your capabilities rather than your limitations. It encourages a mindset of positivity and action, where you your leverage your strengths to achieve your goals instead of being paralyzed by what you cannot do. It's about making the most of what you have and not allowing obstacles to deter your progress. Some exciting news for all the creative minds in our community. Senora Carbonell is starting a brand new club called the Amigurumi Club. If you're new to crochet, this is the perfect place to start. You'll learn the basics and create some beautiful projects along the way. So what skills do you need to join? Well, you need the ability to concentrate, be patient, have good hand mod modder skills, and be willing to take the time to learn and practice. Sessions will be held on Mondays from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m., starting on September 23rd in Senora Carbonell's room. But hurry, participation is limited to just 20 students. So if you're interested, act fast. For more information and permission slips, stop by Senora Carbonell's room, number 72. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to learn and create. Junior Beta Club members, this year everyone is getting a brand new t-shirt. To make sure you get the right size, please complete the form with your t-shirt size as soon as possible. Don't miss out on this awesome new gear. Also, Junior Beta Club members, the Centennial Ho Homecoming Parade is today and more volunteers are needed to make it a success. If you're interested in joining the fun and Represent, representing our school, please sign up on the Junior Beta Teams ASAP. Today is National Read a Book Day. It's the perfect day to grab a book and dive in. Share the joy, read aloud to kids, grandparents, or even your pets. Reading boosts memory, concentration, and reduces stress. For older adults, it can slow cognitive decline. Books are a fantastic, inexpensive way to entertain and educate. So, visit your local library or bookstore, pick up a new book or an old favorite, and enjoy. Happy reading, everyone! All Hainsbridge students had a nice five-day break for Labor Day. Seventh grader Eli Powell reports how Labor Day began and has evolved. Have you wondered why we just had a long weekend? Well, Labor Day was last Monday, and the National Holiday has a very interesting history. It was founded in 1894 by President Grover Cleveland after New York was the first state to pass a bill that gave all workers the day off. This was in response to the ongoing strike that had started in 1886 where 300,000 workers that were, pressing, that were protesting low pay and terrible conditions quit their jobs and began protesting outside of the corporation's buildings. The idea came from P.J. McGuire who wanted a day off to commemorate all workers. Today, the labor unions have nearly 15 million members in over 160 countries celebrate Labor Day around the globe, although most countries celebrate it on May 1st. Labor Day is now known as a national holiday that symbolizes the strength of the working class. Since 1894, Labor Day has, been, has always been celebrated on the first Monday in September. Thanks, Eli, for that report. What's for lunch today? Popcorn shrimp with mac and cheese, cheese pizza, farm fresh roasted green beans, and fries. Happy birthday to a pair of 8th graders, Diego Castro and Emma Clark. That is all for today on HBTV News. Have a fabulous Friday. A great weekend. And we'll see, we'll see you, see you next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.